While addressing the Chiefs of Air Staff Conclave on the sidelines of Aero India 2021, the Defence Minister has said that India is a reliable partner and can take on the role of being the net security provider in the region, while the Air Force Chief has said that the Indian Air Force is central to the peace stability and security in this region, and it can carry out precise strike missions over a large distance of more than 3,000 kilometres away from the country's mainland. With a aim to boost defence exports, India will also host the Indian Ocean Region Defence Minister's Conclave today, in which a complete range of defence systems will be showcased that can be shared with friendly foreign nations. The chairman of Hindustan Aeronautics has said that the company is in talks with several interested countries on the Tejas aircraft, and a contract for Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets with a Southeast Asian nation will be concluded soon. He also made it clear that the Air Force plans to procure 114 fighter jets under the strategic partnership model, and both the MMRCA and Tejas Light Combat Aircraft projects will continue independently. The Indian Air Force has also issued a request for proposal for 70 HTT-40 basic trainers at the Aero India 2021, and is also expected to issue the Air Staff qualitative requirements today which will start the formal process towards a production contract with Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. The DRDO has showcased the Cavalry dry engine prototype, that is currently under development to be used in the Ora unmanned combat stealth aircraft program. Officials have said that it will start performance and operability demonstration across different flight envelope in the altitude test facility in 2021, and is expected to get initial flight release certification in 2024. While it was reported to have a dry thrust of 52 kN, the display mentions that it will generate 47 kN thrust, which will be sufficient enough to power an unmanned combat aerial vehicle, and will come with a fluid thrust vectoring exhaust nozzle. On the sidelines of the ongoing Aero India 2021, the deputy head of Russia's Federal Service for Military Technical Cooperation Vladimir Drozhov has given a very interesting statement that Russia has not yet received any application for purchase of Su-57 from India, but the Indian Air Force is still interested in the purchase. India had pulled back from the joint development and production of Su-57 fighter jets under the FGFA program in 2019. But India had also informed Russia that it is still open to procure export model of Su-57 when it is completely ready. The DRDO has displayed the indigenously developed naval anti-ship missile for the first time at the Aero India 2021. The program was sanctioned in 2017, and this 380 kg helicopter launched naval anti ship missile carries a warhead of 100 kg and is powered by a solid rocket motor to have a range of 55 km. Officials have said that a longer range version will also be developed, that will have a range of more than 150 km. The DRDO missile gallery has also displayed the 40 km range vertically launched short range surface to air missile system for the first time, which will feature thrust vector control, for which the prototype work has already started, and will reuse the building blocks from existing programs like the Astra Mark II. HAL officials have said that the RUAV 200 drone will enter detailed design stage very soon and is based on the Indian Army's requirement for a high-altitude drone that can deliver 150 kg cargo to the frontline troops. They also said that the engine and other systems for the RUAV-200 drone has been identified, and the drone will be put to trial over the next two-year period. 
American Drop Precision Technologies has announced that it will soon supply its IC-25 HD observation systems for installation on Indian Navy warships under construction at Larsen and Dubro, which is a compact observation system that provides maximum range surveillance using high-performance thermal imaging camera, a high-sensitivity color day camera, and an eye-safe laser range finder, which helps it to maintain the bore sight even in conditions of vibrations. A photograph has recently been released by the Chinese media, which suggests that the Chinese army has deployed its Type 99 heavy tanks at the South Pangong Lake, which means that their newly developed and deployed Type 15 light battle tanks are underperforming at the high altitude region, as they were not a match for the Indian T-90 and T-72 tanks deployed in the area. Hindustan Aeronautics had entered into a contract with Israeli Aerospace Industries for local production of 54 ELM-2052 ASA radars with transfer of technology, and officials have said that a Jaguar Darren III standard fighter jet equipped with the first production version of the Israeli radar will fly in March 2021, which can track 64 targets from a range of 80 kilometers. UP is all set to sign 17 Memorandum of Understanding at the ongoing Aero India show, that will attract close to 5,000 crore rupees investment to its UP Defence Corridor. Hindustan Aeronautics and Bharat Dynamics Limited have demanded around 250 acres of land, while Tata Technology and Dassault Aviation have also sent proposals for the establishment of a central facility centre. Oh, my God.